What's up everyone, it's the detective and I am so excited to open up this starter pack. Finally, I'm, I'm finally getting around to it. You know, I uploaded all those faction box openings. Those videos have been on my phone for probably about a month and then I just started editing and uploading them uh, like last week. So I'm so glad to be done with those because now I can finally open and review the Feral Exgillator Aquos Orlis Fusion starter pack. You can even see there's like a little bit of dust on this uh, box just from sitting on my dresser for so long. Not much going on. This is actually an international package. I got this from Amazon. Um, everyone who orders these off of Amazon has been getting the international packaging. So it kind of begs the question if these will even release in the US whatsoever. Anyway though, I'm gonna bust this open and let's take a look at what we get inside. So here's everything that you actually get in this pack. Of course, we get the three Bakugan. We have the cards, and I also decided to kind of refrain myself from looking at the cards too much because I want to be surprised with what we get. And then, of course, we get our six Baku cores. Let's begin with the man of the hour, Feral X Gilator. And here is Feral X Gilator in the ball form. And, of course, you know, it was unfolded in the, in the box. I had to fold it up. But it's a really, really smooth design all folded up. Of course, you have these blue details here, which are from Gilator, and they do kind of look like scales almost. So I do actually like that inclusion. You know, that tail section definitely looks very aquatic. But of course, you have these absolutely beautifully sculpted wings with that amazing, like, uh, metallic gold color. But honestly, it just looks really fantastic. Uh, let's roll them out and see how he looks all folded out. And here he is, and I just left the core on him. You can just see it's a plus 100 shield, but I really love the way that he actually folded open. For some reason, when I first saw this guy in the packaging, I actually thought that the magnet was over here. I thought that he would pick it up with his head, kind of like this. But then, of course, you know, when I folded it up, I realized that, hey, the magnet's actually back there. And honestly, like, this design... Let me pick it up. This design is absolutely through the roof. Like, it's such a fantastic design. I know that it's Feral X Gilator, but so much of this looks like Feral. You know, of course, the legs there, I guess, are supposed to look like Gilator, but if you, like, took, like, a gold or maybe a silver, uh, like, paintbrush or even, like, markers or Sharpies, and you just went over all of the blue, you could pass this off as just Feral Ultra. Like, again, other than the little scale details on the back and then the feet, there really isn't anything here that resembles Gilator, and even so, you know, if you don't really point out the fact that these are, like, scales on the back, or the fact that these legs look kind of aquatic, then you're just gonna think that it's a Feral Ultra, and frankly, it is just such a beautiful design. You know, the head kind of shakes around a bit, but that's because when you actually fold it up, it kind of tucks in there. Very interesting. I, I did not expect that. Of course, this is my first time owning one of these, of course. The sculpting is just absolutely beautiful. The way that he jumps is so cool as well, and honestly, it's just, it looks really nice. Um, anyway, here is the card. You can see Feral X Gilator. You can definitely see kind of the little spine details that Gilator has, and then you can't really see his legs, but I guess, you know, these are supposed to be the legs of Gilator there. So he is a field sh uh, shield fist, not very good. 605, seven to fuse. And ooh, very basic art, but I still like it. Definitely not as cool as it could have been though. Uh, but he's got 1,209, three frosts. Yeah, it's definitely too much to fuse. Uh, I wish that he was cheaper or that he had better cores. You know? uh, yeah, he's not very good, but nonetheless, still a fantastic Bakugan in terms of the design. I really love it. So we have yet another Chaos X Pyrus Fusion. And honestly, when it comes to the fusion colors, I think that this is my favorite, just in, in terms of the way that these two factions mix together. You know, I've taken a look at the Dragonoid X Treteris, which I'm just going to pull out over here. I've taken a look at this. Be sure to check out that review. I will link them uh, either later in the video or down below. I've taken a look at the Apollyon X uh, Cloptor here, and I, I just love the colors. You know, red, orange, a uh, little bit of green, a little bit of blue, and then white. It just looks really fantastic, and this is another new design, Garganoid Webam. Really loving the details on it already. You can kind of see the little Garganoid face. I love that. Uh, let's pop this guy open. Oh, there we go. Ooh, whoa, okay. He definitely looks far cooler than I thought he would because in the uh, the pictures that I've seen of him, 
I really wasn't a fan of the design actually, but now that I popped him open, I actually quite like it. He does have these arms at the back. Very, very stiff little arms, but I, <laughs> it looks really silly now that I've brought them down, but I, I do really like the way that they look. Um, I, I just, I love that face sculpt. It doesn't look too much like Webam in terms of the bottom section. You know, like they can't really give him the full spider legs. Uh, anyway, let's take a look at the card here. Really like the art right there. Pyrus Gargano and then, ooh, Chaos Webam. Ooh, okay, a little bit better stats, 703, oh. Nine to fuse, double shield. Whoa, that actually looks really, really cool. I guess now that I'm seeing the full monster form, it only really has four legs in monster form. So actually, you know what? I, I do think that this is actually a kind of accurate design because you know, of course, Webam is a spider. He's got eight legs. So I just kind of imagine that Gargamel and Webam would still have eight legs, but it just has four. So actually, yeah, I think that this is actually a pretty faithful design to the actual, uh, arts right here. Anyway though, let's move on to the Hydromind Extra Kelios. So we already took out the base Aquos with Fuse with Ventus, Hydromind Extra Kelios, and of course, you know, we had the heads that were alternating between being blue and green, and here we have the Aquos Darkest One. I already know that one of the main reasons people are going to buy this pack, if they don't buy it for this guy, they're definitely buying it for this, because again, Darkest Hydroid, and the fact that it's Aquos as well is really cool because Hydroid is a native Aquos Bakugan, so it's almost as if you're fusing the new Hydroid with the old one. You guys already know if you've seen my review on it before, you know I love this design, but there he is, and uh, yeah, it just looks really great. Again, my only gripe is I wish that they painted the faces a little bit. Uh, if they painted the faces, I think it would actually be like my favorite, like fusion core Bakugan. Uh, I still don't have all the Fusion Core Bakugan. I do plan to get the rest of them, of course, but honestly, it's just, it looks like such a great design. I love the way that it looks. Very well adapted. The card itself, 504, 8 to Fuse, Shielded Helix, so I guess it's the most promising one so far. I love the art on that as well. And ooh, that! Whoa! That is some killer art. It's got this whole, like, purple, pinkish vibe all around the card. 1512. Sadly, not very good, but that that was my genuine reaction. This art is just through the roofs. I just wish that these fantastic toy designs and this fantastic art design were actually on a card which were good enough to be played in the game, but unfortunately, I still don't think that this one is too good. So, of course, we get a bunch of other stuff with this pack. Before we take a look at the actual Baku cores, here is the Gate Trainer you get. It's got Howl Core Ramparian on there. And I do like how they kind of made the gate trainers like the older uh, Bakugan cards. I actually have one here. Let me just pull one out. You can just kind of see. If you guys are unfamiliar with these, uh, they're actually a little bit smaller. They're the same size as the standard cards. These gate trainer, these gate cards were like far bigger than even the standard Bakugan cards as well. So uh, it was a little weird. But uh, yeah, there's that. Let's take a look at these cards over here. So we got, ooh, Shields of Astroyas. We got Improvised Armor. We got three energy for plus two damage, plus two draw, huh? Big ape punch. Is that, uh, yeah, that's Gortheon right there. And he's punching Fangzor. <laughs> um, four energy for plus eight. And, ooh, Darkest Dread, I love that art. Plus 100, draw one, and plus one damage. Not bad, I love the art on that one too. You can actually see, yeah, there's uh, Garganoid X uh, WebM right there in Darkest... Uh, Darkest Pyrus. I wonder if that one actually exists, because I feel like that would look really cool. Uh, anyway, though, let's move on to the Baku cores. So here are the six cores that you get in this pack, and I was like, I had to take a breath, because I was just, I was so excited to the point where I was just mumbling up my words, and uh, yeah, these cores, uh, some of them are pretty good, some of them are not too good. This one is probably the best core in the pack. The rest of these are meh. Fusions just are not good, and it's just a shame. So unfortunately, really the only good core in this pack is uh, the plus 400 Aquos Darkest. So everyone, that was my review on the Feral X Gilator starter pack. And I honestly really, really like this. All three of these Bakugan are fantastic. These, well, all three of them design-wise are really, really great. Uh, of course, this is just a Darkest Hydronoid, so I can see the appeal for many people. Paint-wise, all of these are fantastic. I'd say the only real gripe that I have is the fact that Hydroid's eyes aren't painted, but, you know, that's the same across all of the Hydroid Krakelios molds. So it's not so much of a problem with this specific one as it just is with the entire, like, 
wave of this specific Bakugan. Anyway though, like, all of these molds are fantastic. I've really fallen in love with this, and I'm definitely starting to like the Gargadon Webem, especially after seeing the fact that the card actually shows him only with four legs, so it kind of makes more sense to me to give the toy only four legs instead of eight. Anyway though guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm the Detective, stay tuned for more awesome videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.